Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to the channel. Today I thought it would be fun to make some belly bands that have a window. So they're going to be a folded belly band with a window in the top fold. And we'll see, you'll see what I have planned in a minute. These were very much inspired by some um, double fold, uh, I think, belly bands as well as side uh, long pockets that Rachel at Roxy Creations has made. Hi, Rachel. Uh, and she's done those for a, a few uh, years. So I just thought it would be fun to try and use up some of my Tim Holtz uh, cardstock. I love using a double sided piece of cardstock for this sort of thing. So let's get started. What I know I want. So what I've done, this is a seven and a seven and a half this height because I've used a portion of it. Um, I know I don't make journals generally, uh, sometimes the occasional, but it's rare that are over eight and a half inches tall for the papers. Uh, but I make a lot that are smaller than that. So I'm just going to those that aren't uh, seven already cut to a certain size, I will cut them to eight and a half inches. So I'm going to use my punch. This is the Happy Planner punch, the small one. Um, and I want to make my window with that. So this is the, the color I want on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it out first because then I'm going to know where I have to fold my paper. So we'll cut that out and we'll save that because, you know, you know we're likely to have a use for that at some point. So we cut that out first, and then I'm going to take my scoreboard. Sorry for all the noise. Take my scoreboard, and um, I will score this where I want it to fold. <laughs> wow, that was fun. So I'm going to score it. Two inches would be enough, but I want to give it a little bit more space. So I'm going to go to two and a quarter. And you decide what you want for your particular project. So then we can fold it. And that way it's going to have a window. I'm going to cut that a little bit more because I don't want my belly band or side tuck to be that wide. But that's how I want to do it. So. What I'm going to do is choose a few more of these because we're going to just kind of mass make them. Uh, and I'm going to, where is it? Oh, there it is. Uh, I'm going to punch a few more of these and then we'll, we'll take it from there. So how's everybody doing? I hope you're well. Um, we're all doing well. It is a cold one. It is a cold one. Isn't that adorable? And then you would see Happy Holidays. Okay, I want to make sure I don't hit Happy Holidays. We'll be able to use this cute little uh, card now for something else. So let's just stick with three for now, um, given my time constraints. And um, I'm also going to just double check. I've got a pencil here. I'm going to double check where eight and a half is and make sure that I cut to there. Um, I may end up having to cut more off at some point, but at least I know I'm safe uh, at eight and a half for the most part. Um, I certainly haven't made any larger than that Christmas turtles for pages in the past. Okay, so I want to cut those before I fold them. So one second, grab my cutter, set this in, and just at that mark, I'm going to cut that. That's a good scrap. We're going to cut this one as well. You can hear Miss Midge upstairs. And there we go. Okay, we're going to need this again in a second. But first, let's let's um, do our 
let's do our scoring. Two and a quarter. So. Wants to fight me a little. It's a nice sturdy start cardstock. And then where's my other one? Ah, here we are. Two and a quarter. Oops, wrong side. Okay, so that's as much as we need the scoreboard at the moment. I'm just going to, pardon me, set it aside, bang a few things on the way. And just sorry, just clearing my phone. And then we're going to go like so. I'm just looking for my uh, bone folder. And for some reason, it is not there. Okay, it's fine. Isn't that sweet with the, the green and whatnot? I like that a lot. Okay, so now let's pick up, but I digress. <laughs> Uh, let's pick up our um, cutter and I think if we cut to two and three quarters that still gives us a nice amount on the back on the back I think that looks good you could make it wider of course um, but I like that now we maybe we'll make this one uh, three. Just because we can. And let's do this one as well. So let's, yeah, we'll do this one. No, it's smaller, so it's going to be in a smaller journal. So, yeah, two and three quarters. Okay. So these are all terrific scraps as well. So that, I think, will be it for our cutter for the moment. Sorry, just picking up glue that had fallen in there before. So the next thing I want to do is I want to put some acetate. And of course you don't need to put acetate, but I like to put acetate behind these windows. Um, did I bring... Yeah, I did. I brought some just from a plastic, little plastic bag from packaging. And if I guesstimate that, if I go halfway, and then halfway again, based on my experience, I hope I'm right, <laughs> that should fit. Yeah, it does. Okay, so I'm just going to very narrowly, because that's two, that's two um, thicknesses. So now I have two, and we'll do it with the other one as well. Just very narrowly. I'm sorry, was I off screen? You know, I'll be looking for these shards of plastic bag for a while, I'm sure. Okay, let's move those out of the way. All right, so we have four. Let me set those. Sorry, I think that's the washing machine going. I'm going to set that aside, and I'm going to grab my art glitter glue, um, and I'm going to set my pin aside because I'm notorious for losing those. And I'm just going to put like a thin amount of glue around that opening. like that. And I don't think these are cut so large that we need to think about putting much else on there. And I put it up to the edge and just slide it over a touch. And there we have our acetate in. And we do have a little bit of glue bleed, but with our glitter glue it does dry uh, clear, so we should be good.
So I'll do all three of those. Just trying to make sure I'm right to the edge, and I am. So that's the second one. Like I said, a little bit of glue, gloobers, but that's fine. And then this one will do as well. The um, I like these. These are the backdrops, the Tim Holtz backdrops papers, and you could use any Christmas card stock that you have. And if you have one that doesn't isn't uh, hasn't got uh, imagery on both sides, then you can collage the other side uh, if you want, uh, or you could paint it or spray it with inks or whatever you want. Uh, there's lots of things you could do. So, and then there's that one. But I find they're fairly subtle on the Christmas, other than this one, this one on that side. But even still, it's quite subtle because there's not a lot else on there. Um, so it's kind of nice to uh, zhuzh them up a bit. So here's my thought, and we'll see how this works. I'm thinking, I'm just grabbing some of the bits that I have cut out, and these are from tailor-made journals. And I'm thinking, what if we put something like that in behind? I mean, yes, we're going to end up having a... Um, I'm just going to cut this off. Um, yes, we're going to end up having a um, card or something or a tag that goes in. But if we just have that glued to the inside, then we always have a beautiful image to look at. That's my thought. So, we're going to do that. I'm going to stick her in there. And very carefully look at where this is, where this is falling, because I want to get that beautiful holly halo that she's got going on there. So yeah, there she is. As cute as that. Okay, what else do we want? Um, I think she might be too large. Oh, there's a bell. What about this bell? And this one needs a little bit more because the other one does have... Uh, I think that looks good. That reads well, don't you think? Um, I think this little edge is coming out a little bit, so I'm going to just cut that off the bell. And we'll set that in there. So it was nice to see on, on my last uh, video how many of you were starting with doing some Christmas uh, crafting and whatnot. It's just a whole lot of fun. And if you have, you know, kids around uh, to play with doing some making, got some glue there, then isn't that the best? Like for me, I think that's just the best. So we've got that like so, and bless him, he looks a bit grumpy to be putting in a window, <laughs> so I don't know that I can do that. <laughs> but this Santa is so cute, and you know what, I'm not sure I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to leave that there. I think that looks really cute, as is, yep. All right. We're going to put this Santa in there. Sorry, grumpy Santa, but, you know. It's so cute to see the wonder of Christmas and through the eyes of a child. It's just too much. Um, our granddaughter, Alice, who's six this year, I have, I have some Jim Shore Santas, and I've had them for years, and I've been collecting them for years. I mean, I haven't had a new one in a long time, but the uh, kids have bought them for me over the years. I think I have, oh gosh, and if you don't know what I mean, look up Jim Shore um, Santa on eBay or something, and you'll see it, or, or search it elsewhere. Um, I think I have 15, um, and they're not inexpensive, but they're absolutely beautiful, and it seemed to be an easy go-to gift um, for my kids, 
because they knew it's something that I loved. Um, and my birthday is just three days before Christmas. So it's just, it's just been one of those things that's been really a nice little uh, gift that they could give their mom. Anyway, I have one that on one side of the Santa it says naughty and the other side says nice. And it has a list on the naughty side. It just, it doesn't have a list of names. But on the nice side, it has um, like a list of ni names of people who've been nice. And believe it or not, the name Wendy is there. And th for some reason that one's bubbling, but that's okay. It'll still be terrific. Um, anyway, it has Wendy there. And it, she is, has just learned to read. And I've always been Mima to her, but she knows my name is Wendy as well now. And she was like, Mima, they have your name. How did they know that you're so nice? How did Santa know? And I said, word's out. <laughs> the word is out. Mima's real nice. <laughs> Shameful, huh? Anyway, she was just so tickled. I just thought it was wonderful. Um, anyway, yes, this was uh, <laughs> just a moment that on the weekend, because I had put out my Santas on uh, just a little, kind of like a TV table, and they just look so lovely together there. I think that one's my favorite. How gorgeous is that? Okay, I don't know that that one needs anything else, but these two, do we want to put, um, you know, something very Christmassy on, or I feel like, I feel like we need, we need some Santa. I think this one needs a Santa, and I'm gonna glue it like that, and then just cut the side. But before I do that, I think I'll put a little bit of washi on there. Um, and I love this green William Morris washi. Where's my... It doesn't need the, the um, glue stick, but just to be safe, it would be good to have, I think. So, whoops. I'm going to set that up right about there. And where are you, Santa? And I'm just going to eyeball where I think he will fit. I'm taking about a centimeter off. Yeah, that was just the sweetest thing. And she was, and she kept saying, like when we have um, every Sunday morning, uh, we make uh, brunch for the kids. Uh, and it's just a beautiful tradition that we've started since we've moved closer to them. And um, she was, every time one of them would come in, did you see this? Did you know that Santa knows about Mima? <laughs> it was, oh, it's the best. Anyway, so isn't that cute? Like super cute. Okay, we've got that one. And then what will we do for her? Um, let me see. Can you see these? I don't want to cut off Santa. Got this cute boy, but I'd be cutting him off. We've got that. That's really nice. Just, I think I want something like that. That's small, and that could be the one. I just, I just don't want to commit yet. <laughs> and that's fabulous. So I think we're going to go for that. Um, and I think, I think I'm going to have to go for the green again. I was going to use that little bit that I tore that was left but it's not enough I don't think so I want something a little wider oh that's great okay so we'll set that on I love hearing the grandchildren's stories and and children's stories and just family member stories it's just uh, it's just terrific so we've got our green there. I know that this bow is coming over. Do I want? I can cut that bit of a stick off afterwards. So let's let's just not go all the way down on that with the glue. 
Yeah, I'm always excited uh, for Christmas, um, especially when you can be with family. And I know we've come through a time when not everyone can. And, and, and even on a go-forward pe pe uh, basis, not everyone can. So um, I, uh, I wish that for everybody. One of my, one of my kids is, lives uh, a great distance, a fair distance away, uh, a, a flight away. Let's put it that way. And so um, he won't be able to make it. I'm just going to cut that off. I thought for a second I'd put glue on it, but I didn't. And I'm going to cut a bit of her foot, but that's okay. So there we go. We've got our three. That came together fairly quickly, I think. Now, um, what we could do, I have some uh, library cards. And the idea would be that something I would put, because the window, there's something in the window, I like the idea of having something a little bit smaller stuck in, because then you can um, still see what's going on in the window a bit. Eastern birds, oh, that's nice. Um, yes, yeah, because then you can just still see a little bit of that. Uh, and yet you can still do some fun decorating on the card, which I think is kind of cute too. So, how much time do we have? Okay, let's, let's do some cards just to have some fun. And I have, let's see, where is the paper? I thought I had some book page here. Ah, I do. Here we go. I have some book page and it's stuck to a tag. It's all good. So I like putting a bit of paper down the side of um, the card. So we'll put something like that there. We could put something like this here. And um, I've got another, this is very old paper. something down there. And I think I'm going to just tear that edge a little bit because I didn't want to see quite so wide an edge. And we're going to just do something very quickly and hope hope we can get done in our time limit. Um, I'll watch it. If I'm getting close then we'll we might um, just finish one or so. But this was really all about the the belly band. And the other thing is, you know, you're going to want to make a big card or something to put behind it, which would be fun. And I think what I would do for any that are popping up and not laying down, I think what I would do is I will take the, um, I'll take my sewing machine and just run it down that edge and that will flatten it and it'll hold whatever's in it a little bit better. But I'll do that off camera. And go like so. So just very quickly and I'm not getting, like I'm not being precious with it. We're just, we're just having fun. Okay, there we go. Now, You could have this gorgeous little girl here. Just very quickly with the glue. Sorry about getting quiet. I do that when I concentrate. really sweet. Very quick and easy and you can write on the back. Um, that, that's 
too big, I think. Yep. That will work. Santa, are you too big? You might be too big, Santa. Nope. Santa's going to fit. And I think I'll put Santa here because I feel like I might see a little more of the paper here. Yep. Okay. How are we doing? Oh, yikes. Yikes. So, moving it along. It's fun when I... I like having a prototype and, and showing you how to make something, but it's also really fun to just kind of do it as we go and see how it how it progresses. So that worked out really well. And we can put that hole in there if we want in the card. Uh, and then this little little fella, I think it's a fella. Doesn't matter, right? Some dry glue. Just flick that off. Okay. So we're gonna set him right there. Really cute. Okay, really, really cute. Okay, I'm gonna have a little hole punch here. Let's see if it's gonna let me do this. Perfect. I like having the hole there. Um, because I think it'd be nice to put a little bit of ribbon or something in it. We've got this. We've got this. Now we'll just fold it in half and set that in one of these. Um, Set it in the Santa. This way I just get a thicker, thicker tie. Just like that. And I just like, we're just going to cut it and have like a little fringe. And I think, where do we want Santa? I'm going to set him here. Santa on Santa. So that would go in like that. We've got that little fringy bit sitting there. Um, I thought I had one that I had split the other day, but we'll split this one and share it between the two. Okay, that's more than we need, isn't it? That's okay. So we just tear that. When you have a wide sari, it's very easy to do that, to split it. And then we'll set some in here. And you, of course, could put some nice labels. Um, you could have some nice Christmas words. I just don't have any to hand. But that would be also a nice thing to have. And if it's tight, like if it doesn't want to move, don't force it. Um, because you don't want to rip your paper. Okay, and so I'm just going to like so. Set him in here. And then we'll do the same with this gal. we have got very little time. <laughs> Move it! All right, I'm doing it. And so this one's all about little children. And I've just got to listen to what I said a second ago and not force it. Cut off some of these threads. Okay. Super cute. These are really fun. Oh, and look, you can see her little face in there. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you give it a try. These are really fun to do. Thank you for the inspiration, Rachel. Um, you inspire me always. Okay, guys, take care, and we'll see you next time. Let me just give you a quick look. And this cute one.
and this cute one. And remember, it would be stuck at the top and the bottom, and then you could put something behind it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.